As mentioned earlier, Governor Kane announced today that Stanton has earned designation as a new Virginia Enterprise Zone. The previous Stanton Enterprise Zone lasted from 1990 through the end of this month. Stanton is one of four new Virginia Enterprise Zones. The designation will be good for 10 years. Each locality will use state and local Enterprise Zone incentives to create new jobs, promote private investment, and support the overall growth of the local economy. And joining us now to discuss the designation and downtown Stanton is Julie Markowitz, Executive Director of the Stanton Downtown Development Association. Julie, thanks for joining us. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Now, downtown Stanton, how is it doing right now? Well, we're doing fairly well. We have uh, four vacancies on our main street, and um, two will be coming up at the beginning of 2010. Um, that's about two more vacancies than what we've had over the past three years. So it's a little bit more than usual, but still a fairly normal rate of attrition for downtowns. Now, this new Enterprise Zone designation is for several parts of Stanton. How will it help downtown? Well, it's, it's true that the Enterprise Zone is, is a, it's a very, it has a lot of depth and it does benefit um, all of the areas of the zone. The specific area where it will benefit downtown is by taking a strategic approach to incentivizing new businesses um, to market their business. So what it offers um, new businesses in the downtown service district is an opportunity to get a reimbursement for up to $5,000 um, for um, marketing during the first six months of their business, which is a, a very aggressive, wonderfully strategic approach to helping new businesses maintain that level of marketing let, to increase awareness for them that's so important during that first six months to a year of being in business. Is that uh, new versus the former uh, Enterprise Zone, or is that a continuation of uh, previous uh, Enterprise it, it's, Zone? It's a, it's a new addition to the Enterprise Zone. Um, Amanda um, Huffman-Glover developed it. She got a lot of input from the Economic Development Department here in the city. The SDDA was involved in some of that. It was a great idea. Um, formerly, the Enterprise Zone wasn't so downtown specific. They did give a $3,000 reimbursement over three years, and that had to do with um, uh, employees that you would have in your employee for 20 hours per week during that three-year period of time. But this is, is really more strategic, it's really more aggressive because new businesses have a tendency to open and um, we, we like to try to get them to create a, a business plan um, and we have um, the Stanton Creative Community Fund in place to assist them with that. But to actually keep that mar those marketing dollars in their business planning um, mm -hmm. that sometimes get waylaid for in favor of different merchandise or maybe a physical okay. um, improvement to a business is really important. Now you lost Grand Furniture this year. What are you trying to do? What are you trying to fill that space with? Well, Grand's is actually, it's, it's a rather large building. It's about 23,000 square feet. Um, we have approached some regional chains about that. Um, which would be uh, perfect for that building. There are um, several, a handful at least, of regional chains on the East Coast that will actually come into a community, um, rehabilitate a, a building um, in a downtown area using the preservation tax credits and city incentives to, um, you know, for re reuse and economic sustainability through preservation. Re and But um, right now is a difficult time to get some of those folks to kind of buy in only because they have stopped their development for a little while. Um, that when you process. Say, when mm -hmm. you say regional chain, is this what type of business, though? Well, the type of business that we were looking at was a business that was more of sort of, um, it, it, it was a variety. There was apparel, some sporting goods, uh, some, um, there would have been some regional kind of branded, like Stanton branded, Valley branded products okay. um, now, from food to that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. What businesses do you want downtown that you don't have? Well, uh, we are, we're referring back to a sales gap analysis that was completed in um, 2005, and they determined that what we should be looking at is furniture, uh, a supermarket, like a full-size supermarket okay. or a grocery store, uh, quality apparel, um, music, retailers, bookstores, and automotive dealers. Okay, very good. Julie Markowitz, Executive Director of the Stanton Downtown Development Association, I want to thank you for joining us. Thank you. And now let's send it to Mel.